When I grew up, kids in my generation had a scary situation. After all, uh, we had, had asbestos roofs, we had lead paint, uh, all boys carried uh, uh, pocket knives. Cars didn't have seat belts. Uh, food products didn't have detailed labeling and, and expiration dates letting us know when to throw things out. Now we're all better informed. We know when to throw things out uh, when they're past their best if used by date. We're all more safety conscious and we're concerned about things like food safe finishes. Because uh, my gosh, I wouldn't want to eat my cereal out of a bowl that didn't have a uh, food safe finish, would I? Nor would I want to cut anything on a chopping board that didn't have a food safe finish. I certainly don't want to put a finish on a bowl that wouldn't be safe for, for food. Uh, so I set about trying to learn a little bit more about it. I don't want finish on, on objects that are going to come in contact with food, whether it's a coffee scoop or a pie server or a spatula or, or what about a baby rattle that's going to go in a baby's mouth or, or as we mentioned before, a cutting board. I didn't stay at a Holiday Inn last night. I'm not a biochemist. Uh, I never worked for Food and Drug Administration, so what I'm sharing with you is based on my own personal experience and, and the research that I've, that I've done. If you've got a different opinion, I appreciate you sharing it in the comments below. Let's define a couple of terms. Food grade and food safe, because they're different. You may have always thought these terms mean the same thing, but maybe you know they're different, but not sure what each one means. So what does food grade actually mean? What does food safe really mean? And what finishes do we want to put on products that might contain food or go in a baby's mouth? In short, food grade means that the material is suitable to come into direct contact with food. Food safe means that the food grade material and finished product is suitable for its intended use and will not create a food safety hazard. The, different, the key difference here is it's regarding materials and finished products. Food grade typically refers to a material and essentially states that the material doesn't contain any toxins or dangerous substances. For something to be considered food grade, the material must be able to be cleaned effectively and not allow any foreign uh, particles to find their way into the food. Generally, the surface should be smooth and free of any imperfections such as cracks, ridges, or crevices where bacteria could grow. When this material is used to create a product, the situation changes slightly, and this is where food safe comes in. A product is said to be food safe when it's declared safe to use for the specific purpose for which it's designed. This includes considerations like the temperature that it'll be used at, the ability to clean the product, and how long uh, will it be in contact with the food. You know, every, every type of finish uh, comes with something called a, an MSDS sheet. You can generally find it on, on a website somewhere. Uh, let me read an MSDS sheet for a typical wood finish. Danger, rag, steel wool, or other waste soaked with this product and sanding residue may spontaneously catch fire if improperly discarded. Immediately place rag, steel wool, and other waste soaked with this product and sanding residue in a sealed, water-filled metal container. Dispose of in accordance with local fire uh, regulations. Cautions. Contains aliphatic hydrocarbons. Contents are combustible. Keep away from heat and open uh, flame. Vapor is harmful. Use only with adequate ventilation. To avoid overexposure, open windows and doors and use other means to ensure fresh air entry in, uh, during application and drying. If you experience eye, eye watering, headaches, or dizziness, increase fresh air or wear respiratory protection, a NIOSH approved, or leave the area. Avoid contact with eyes and skin. Wash hands after using. Keep the container closed when not in use. Do not transfer contents to other containers for storage. First aid. In case of eye contact, flush thoroughly with large amounts of water for 15 minutes and get medical attention. For skin contact, wash thoroughly with soap and water. In case of respiratory difficulty, provide fresh air and call a physician. If swallowed, call Poison Control Center, hospital emergency room, or a physician immediately. Delayed effects from long-term exposure. Contains solvents which can cause permanent brain damage and nervous system damage. Intentional misuse by deliberately uh, concentrating and inhaling the contents can be harmful or fatal. Warning, this product contains chemicals known to the state of California to cause birth defects or other reproductive harm. Okay, does that sound food safe to you? Let me provide you a little information from a 25-year-old article from Fine Woodworking. 
Uh, it's, it's been a while ago, but it's got some useful information. And it, it, the author says, after scores of conversations with chemists, regulatory agencies, Finnish manufacturers, Finnish experts, and, and woodworkers, I found there are a few finishes that everyone agrees are food safe. However, these finishes tend to be the least protective, and the great majority are in a kind of limbo, with many experts saying they're fine for use with food, but with others saying they should be avoided because uh, there are some lingering questions about their safety. With all these uh, contrary uh, opinions about what finishes a food safe and which are not, a few naturally derived, unblended, no hidden ingredients, uh, certainly non-toxic finishes stand out. One is pure tongue oil. Uh, that's to be distinguished from a uh, from a tongue oil finish, which may not even have, have tongue oil in it. Uh, it's extracted from the nut from the china wood tree and it's used as a base in many blended finishes available from catalogs and hardware uh, hardware stores. It's difficult to apply, requires many coats, uh, but it has good water resistance. Uh, you got raw linseed oil. Uh, somewhere here. Okay. I've got some oil linseed oil, which is different. This is different from raw, raw linseed oil. Raw linseed oil is pressed from flax seeds, not to be confused with uh, boiled linseed oil, which contains metallic dryers. Listed as a, food, uh, as a food additive by the Food and Drug Administration. Very long time curing, good looks, low water resistance, frequent reapplication. Mineral oil. Although derived from petroleum, it's colorless, odorless, tasteless, and entirely inert. Sold as a laxative in drugstores and as a wood finish in hardware and kitchen supply stores. Simple to apply, low water resistance, and frequent reapplication. And then we've got walnut oil, such as. Uh, you know, this Mahoney's oil. Pressed from the nuts of the walnut tree, sold as a salad oil in health food stores and in large grocery stores. It dries, it, uh, walnut oil dries and won't go rancid. Easy to apply and frequently uh, as a reapplication. Then you got uh, your, your beeswax. The work of the honeybee can be mixed with an oil uh, to create a better smelling, slightly more water uh, repellent finish. Sold in wood turning and woodworking catalogs. Uh, I use this in my sanding abrasive paste and my uh, sanding lubricant. It's considered food safe to humans, but I would not want to breathe it. Then you've got uh, carnauba wax. It's derived from the Brazilian palm tree. It's harder than beeswax and more water resistant. It can be used straight on wood, wooden wear as a light protective coat or a top coat finish or a, a polish. It's sold in woodworking and train catalogs. And then we've got uh, shellac. Okay. Spray shellac. It's a secretion from the lac bug. Harvested in India, super blonde shellac in flake form is the most water resistant variety. It's a film forming finish, sold in woodworking catalogs and hardware and art supply stores. According to expert uh, Bob Flexner, and, and this is a, the, an important takeaway, all finishes are food safe once they are cured. Polyurethane varnish doesn't present any known hazard. However, no finish is food safe until it's fully cured. The rule of thumb for full curing is 30 days at room temperature, 65 to 75 degrees. Now, is shellac a, it might be dried to the touch overnight. Again, it's the curing, it's got to take 30 days. Is shellac a food safe finish? While varnish is not intended to be eaten, if you should ingest some bits from chopping uh, food on your countertop with a cured finish, you may eat small bits of the inert material, considered unappetizing but not inedible from a food safety standpoint. Shellac is often used for children's toys and furniture. It's used in the pharmaceutical industry for coating some, some pills. Now, one option is, is no finish. Uh, this is one that uh, Mike Mahoney often recommends for items going to be used uh, in, in, your, in your kitchen. It makes a reasonable finish for wooden wear. No application time, and this is what I use on baby rattles. I put no finish on it. I just uh, uh, buff it so it'll have initial sh shine. There's no finish that's going to withstand uh, a baby mouthing on it for a few months. Uh, George Snyder, Woodcraft Product Manager, posted on the internet back in 2016 uh, that all finishes made after 1972 are food safe and properly cured. So his, his uh, thoughts go along with Bob Flexner's. This process can take several weeks after a film is formed. We recommend adding a couple of days beyond the product labels recommendations to allow for temperature and humidity variations. Good rule of thumb is 30 days. 
Now, most folks are concerned about metallic uh, dryers put into oils to speed curing, such as boil linseed oil. They're so minuscule in amounts, they are not, uh, they're really not anything to, to be concerned about once they're cured and it's inert. Now, let's talk about perception versus reality. If I was selling a product used for food preparation or containment, uh, like a you know, it could be a, a spurtle, a spatula, uh, a cereal bowl, salad bowl, or children's toys. I want a short, simple, truthful answer to a mom asking if a bowl or other product has a food safe finish. As far as we know, there is no finish on the market that has been approved by the FDA as food safe. Most experts believe that all finishes are food safe once cured. Most experts. Most folks believe this to be after 30 days. All of my bowls have an oil based finish that is cured for at least 30 days, including the bowl I eat my cereal out of every day. And I've been eating out of this bowl of cereal for more than 10 years. Now, spatulas and spurtles. Uh, I tend to use Mahoney's uh, walnut oil for something like that because it, it seals the pores and gives it a nice initial uh, shine. But from Mike's website, it says completely natural and food safe. There are no chemical dryers. The oil has been heat treated to make the oil dry faster and to remove any possible uh, allergens. So if a customer questions about whether it's safe for someone with nut allergies, I would say that that's what the manufacturer claims. If they were uh, a skeptic, I would not try to convince them otherwise. I personally like walnut oil because it's easy to tell someone it's food safe without having to delve into, oh well, you know, if the nasty chemicals are cured, <laughs> kind of routine. I also tell my customers they can get walnut oil from their uh, their market and they can touch up their bowl if it needs it. So I, have, I hope this has been useful for you. Uh, again, I appreciate your comments. Leave in the comments below. Uh, give it a like. I appreciate any shares of my videos because it helps get the word out to people that might could use this information. And y'all remember, y'all stay safe and come on back here. here.